guys, I'm Laura Vitale and today I'm going to show you an amazing recipe. It is my butterscotch cannolis. First of all, let me tell you about how easy and quick this recipe is. Normally when you make traditional cannolis, you have to let the ricotta, the ricotta cheese sit in the fridge for several hours before you can do, before you can stuff your, your cannoli shells. Not this one, mm -mm. This is using the most amazing cream cheese, the Philadelphia cream cheese as the star, and then we have the cinnamon, we have some vanilla extract, some butterscotch pudding, some butterscotch chips and toffee bits, powdered sugar, and of course you're going to need cannoli shells. Now, like I said, this is incredibly easy to do and ridiculously delicious. Now I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Now I am full Italian. I was born in Italy, raised there for half of my life, and can I tell you, I am not a fan of cannolis. My mother is probably screaming in 10 different languages right now, but it's the truth. I do not like them, I think they're too plain, they're too bland, and I love ricotta cheese and any other dish, but not in cannolis. I just think it's grainy and it's not smooth and silky as I like it to be. But I love cannoli shells, so I would always scoop the filling out and just eat the shell. So then I started thinking, well, cream cheese is so silky and so smooth, and I love butterscotch, so I thought, let me give it my own spin. Let me make a recipe, let me make one up as I go. And I made this recipe and everybody loved it and it became one of the signature things that I make now every time I go to a party. And this is how simple it is. You're going to take your Philadelphia cream cheese. Let's open it up. I love this stuff. And I love it that you can use it savory dishes, sweet dishes, you name it. As a snack, of course. My grandmother would often use, just often have for dinner just Philadelphia cream cheese on a piece of toast, and that's what she would eat. Here we go. We have the Philadelphia cream cheese. I'm telling you, this is going to go very quickly. It doesn't need to sit in the fridge for hours. This goes from a bowl to your mouth within less than 10 minutes. I mean, come on. It's pretty darn fantastic. And I'm using just store-bought butterscotch pudding cups, and I know you, you could use the you know, the powder pudding mix, but you'd have to have that, you have to let that sit for a while, and I don't want to wait. I just literally want these to go from a bowl to my mouth within minutes. So I'm going to show you. And they're so good. They're so full of flavor. And I make a bunch of different fillings, but this has to be my favorite one. I love butterscotch. I put them in everything. So this is probably my favorite filling. So I have four of these little three and a half ounce pudding cups. Let me get them out of the way. Now I'm going to add in my powdered sugar. Oops. I have about a half a cup of powdered sugar. Come on. About a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And mm, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Just because I love cinnamon anytime I'm using butterscotch. I always use some cinnamon. Mmm, smells so good already. I'm just going to use my whisk now and just stir like crazy. Here we go. Nice and creamy. You see that? That's exactly what you want. Now, you know how normally when you have a cannoli, there's always like chocolate chips or some kind of toffee bits or something at the end of the cannoli? This one wants it all the way through the cannoli. So I'm going to add half a cup each of toffee bits and butterscotch chips. This is so good. I'm telling you. It is going to be a family favorite. Now I'm just using a disposable piping bag here. But you could also use a large Ziploc bag and just snip the tip on one of the corners. And you have a piping bag. Here we go. Now I'm going to show you how one goes. You just want to start on one end, fill them like so, and start on the other, fill them like so. See how beautiful they are? I'm just going to continue piping them out. Last one. Perfect. A little bit more there. Now, you don't have to do this, but I do because I like a bit of embellishment and I like a bit of crunch. I just like to top them with some of the toffee bits. 
I think they're delicious. You could set these in the fridge for a few hours, just make them the day of the party or whenever you're having your dinner party. But they don't have to. I'm telling you, they can be eaten right away. And trust me, don't mind if I do. I just want to do this. It's so good. Look at that. Mm. Incredibly creamy. Full of flavor. Mm. I just gotta keep going. I hope when you're spending time with me, try these out. You will not regret it. I promise. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.